If I were blind, I would be really frustrated because you wouldn't be able to see things. Katie Hodnot has perfect vision, thanks to research by doctors Brenda Galley and Helen Chan. For the past 20 years, they've worked together with the help of Canadian Cancer Society funding to improve the outlook for people with retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma is a cancer of the infant retina, the developing retina, that starts before birth, um, often, and uh, a particular cell in the developing retina is very dependent on the presence of the retinoblastoma gene to be normal. And when that's gone, the cells grow out of control and form a cancer in the baby's eye. The Hodnot family of London, Ontario has a lot of experience with this type of cancer. Husband and father, Terry Hodnot, lost both eyes to retinoblastoma as a toddler in the 60s. Little was known about the disease at that time. Years later, after Terry married Patty, both of their children, Riley and Katie, inherited the defective retinoblastoma gene. Their experience demonstrates how far research has come. I mean, we went from having no eyes, lucky to be alive, you know, severe chemo and radiation and the whole bit, to, you know, the next stage with Riley, not quite there with the research in, the, in terms of the genetics, didn't quite have that pinned down, and Riley having chemo and a very rough road for about three years, and then eventually losing one eye, but still fortunate and, and glad to, you know, have the success that we did with him, and then moving on to Katie, where... You know, she has 20-20 vision in both her eyes, never had to endure chemo and just, you know, the picture of health. So, um, you know, absolutely the research dollars are going in the right place as far as I'm concerned. Over the years, the Hottenots have shown their appreciation as active fundraisers in their community for cancer research. Their commitment is easy for any parent to understand. I think I'm lucky to be a survivor. And I'm lucky to have both my eyes. So how has research helped families like the Hodnots? Dr. Galley's research developed a genetic test for retinoblastoma. It allows children to be diagnosed before birth so treatment can be done as soon as possible. Meanwhile, research by Dr. Chan discovered that cyclosporin could overcome retinoblastoma's resistance to chemotherapy. That meant many children could be cured without resorting to harmful radiation therapy. In Canada, survival from this cancer is 99%, but worldwide, survival from retinoblastoma is only 30%. So their research has global implications, and it's not limited to just retinoblastoma. It is a small disease, but it could actually be a prototype disease, you know, that we could learn many lessons um, that would be applicable to cancer in general. For researchers like Brenda Galley, that kind of promise is a powerful motivator. I'm having so much fun. It's so good. Um, I work too hard, but I can't stop because it's, it's absolutely amazing.